My brothers and sisters in Christ, today's gospel passage provides a wonderful blueprint for the season of Lent. In a sense, it is a detailed uh, explanation or breaking open of what we call the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Do unto others as you would have God do unto you. And so Jesus tells us, stop judging and you will not be judged. Love and you will, you know, love and you will be loved. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. This explains, uh, and, a, and a couple days ago, we, we received the, the Our Father and the Gospels. He taught his disciples how to pray. In a sense, that's one of the great challenging clauses near the end is, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. That's our prayer to God. We ask him to forgive us to the measure with which we forgive. And so we bring on ourselves the penalty if we ourselves are not forgiving people. We cannot... Uh, hold grudges or hold resentment, refuse to forgive, and then turn and ask God for forgiveness. But the season of Lent is about this renewal that God desires in us. And so we look at the, the three major activities, the prayer, the fasting, and the almsgiving. Well, the first two, the, the fasting is an act of self-mortification. In a sense, we give, up, we give up food, we have a slightly more empty stomach in order so that our hunger may not just be for earthly things, but truly for God, the only one that can satisfy our, our hunger and thirst. And then our prayer brings us more into humble communion with God. But then on the flip side of that, our almsgiving, out of that prayer and fasting, the more that we realize we're lowly and in need of God's mercy, the fact that we cannot provide for ourselves everything we need, we need God's help. When we're in touch with that, that leads us to be more generous to our neighbor. That leads us to realize that my brother or my sister also needs help. And maybe I can be a source of that help, just as God sends others to help me. And so this becomes a prayer of, of great humility during the season of Lent, as we see an opportunity to open ourselves more to God, not just to receive, Certainly, when we open ourselves to God, we receive abundantly. But then, as we realize that we are such great recipients, we realize we have the responsibility to give. And so, it becomes this reciprocal relationship with God. That, that is charity working in us. When we are loved, we love first. And we're always loved first, because God is the first actor. God is the principle. He is love himself. And so we can only love because we are first loved. But that's the important part. Once we open ourselves to God's love, then we need to respond with love of God and love of our neighbor. That is the measure uh, which will be measured out to us. And so may we spend this season wisely. May we humble ourselves and especially return to gratitude Gratitude for the great goodness and generosity of God, and that we may in turn may help others, be good to others, love others as we have first been loved. May God bless you.